intro to algebra. Let's do more addition and subtraction on signed numbers. We'll learn about absolute values and negations. For now, let's first set aside our number line. So, what does absolute value mean? The dictionary defines absolute value as the magnitude of a real number without regard to its sign. Say, what again? Let's take back our number line for a bit. To illustrate, let's use the number 5. On the number line, the size or length of 5 from 0 is 5. So, we say that the absolute value of 5, is 5. To indicate that we are getting the absolute value of a number, that number is in between two vertical bars. Next, let's look at negative 5. The arrow length from 0 on the number line for negative 5 is 5. So, we then say that the absolute value of negative 5, is 5. Simply put, we can say that the absolute value of a number is its positive version. Right? And so, now we know that the absolute value of 0, is, 0. The absolute value of positive or negative 6, is 6. The absolute value of positive or negative 1 half, is 1 half. Cool, right? You now know the concept of absolute values. And that, my friend, is, a goal. Let us now apply our knowledge of absolute values, to work on addition of signed numbers. In terms of absolute values, let's go through the step-by-step -step rules for adding any two numbers. Two positive numbers, two negative numbers, or a combination of a positive and a negative number. Shall we go ahead and start with simple numbers? We only have three cases to study. The first one, is for when we are to add two positive numbers. That is, positive plus positive. For this case, we just add as usual. Easy peasy. The second case is adding two negative numbers. Negative plus negative. The rule for this case is to add the absolute values. Yes the absolute values of each number, and then, negate the answer. So, going back to an example we used on lesson 1, negative 4 plus negative 2. Let us add the absolute values of each number. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4, right? The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So adding those absolute values, 4 plus 2, is, 6. The last step is, to negate the answer. So that means, 6 becomes negative 6. And that, we know negative 6 is the answer to negative 4 plus negative 2. The third and last of our case is adding positive and negative together. The rule is to subtract the absolutely smaller number, from the absolutely larger number. Then, the answer will take the sign from the absolutely larger number. Again, using a simple example, 4 plus negative 6. 4 has a smaller absolute value than negative 6. Hence, we subtract 4 from 6, which gives us 2. The answer then to 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2. We took the sign from negative 6, which has the larger absolute value. Let's try another example, negative 3 plus 8. So again, we subtract the absolutely smaller number, for this case 3, from the absolutely larger number, 8. The absolutely larger number is 8 and it is positive, so our answer will be a positive number. Subtracting 3 from 8 gives 5. The answer then to negative 3 plus 8 is positive 5. See? There's no need to be afraid of negative numbers. Unless it is for money. Negative amount of money isn't good. Not good. Negative amount of money means you owe someone. That was a good lesson. Let's continue more next time. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.